now, back to the Care Bears. The fabulous Care Bears Safety Game! Starring Mr. Safety himself, Grumpy Bear! Ow! Hello and welcome to the safety game. Right you are, Grumpy. The game where we find out how much you know about safety as our studio contestants compete for big prizes. Uh, Braveheart, aren't you supposed to be off camera? Oops. Okay, Treatheart, let's find out who today's lucky contestants will be. Uh, she's a student. A student from Carolot Elementary School, and she's dressed up like an Indian. Baby hugs! Come on down! He's another... Another student from Carolot Elementary, and he's dressed as a cowboy. Baby tugs! Come on down! Braveheart, do you mind? Not at all, Grumpy. Hey! He's a bad guy from No Heart Storm Cloud, and he's dressed up like a wild asparagus? Beastly? That's me, guy one! <laughs> Beastly? What do you think you're doing in there? Hey, No Heart, look, it's me, I'm on TV! Come on, let's play! Ow. Beastly, what do you know about safety? Huh? Are you kidding? I practically invented the stuff. What is it, anyway? Safety is when you play and act in a way that doesn't hurt you or anybody else. See? I knew that. Go ahead, ask me anything. I dares you. Here's our first question. What does it mean when you see this symbol on a box or bottle? Oh, I know that one. It means it was made by pirates. Sorry, Beastly. That's not the answer we're looking for. I know, Grumpy. Okay, Hugs. What do you think it means? It means it's poison, and you shouldn't touch it or drink it. Very good, Hugs. This does mean poison. It can make you very sick or even kill you. Semantics. Okay, here's the next one. What should you do if your clothes catch on fire? <gasps> Easy! Run and scream! Oh, no, Beastly. You should never run. That just makes the fire burn faster. How about calling the fire department? No, that would take too long. Maybe you could fill up the bathtub with cold water and jump in. No, there wouldn't be time for that either. The right thing to do if your clothing catches on fire <gasps> is to lie down and roll. That's the best way to put out the flames. Okay, let's see if we can do better on this next one. What should you do if you're playing with a ball and it accidentally bounces out into the street? Uh, lie down and roll? But how do you get the ball? Oh, yeah. I know, Grumpy. Just ask an adult to go and get it for you. I was just gonna say that. Very good, Tugs. End of round one. And, but I was just getting the hang of it. And at the end of round one, Baby Tugs has one point, Baby Hugs has one point, and Mr. Beastly still has no points. I'm pacing myself. Now it's time for a Care Bears safety challenge. Right you are, Grumpy. In this kitchen, we play several dangerous things that kids shouldn't touch. Our contestants must find the dangerous things and not touch them. All set, contestants? Okay, go! Here's one, Grumpy. The stove. It could burn you. Very good, Tugs. I found another one. Poison stuff under the sink. They could make you real sick. That's right, Hugs. In fact, they should really be kept in a safer place. Here's another one, Grumpy. Sharp knives. We shouldn't touch them because we could cut ourselves. Here's some more, Grumpy. Electrical appliances. 
They're real dangerous. Very good, Hugs. Um, how are you doing, Beastly? Wow! I found them! The most dangerous things on the face of the planet! Look! Brussels sprouts? But, Beastly, Brussels sprouts aren't dangerous. They're actually good for you. Good for you? Have you ever tasted these things? Yuck! Well, there it is. Our contestants have found all the dangerous things in our kitchen. And what do we do when we find something dangerous? Don't touch it! And as we go into round two of the safety quiz, Tugs and Hugs are still tied with three points apiece. And Mr. Beastly is, uh, lagging behind somewhat. Sure. Rub it in. Here's our first question. What should you do if a stranger offers you a ride home? Uh, ask him to take you to the circus instead? Uh... No, Beastly. Hugs? You should say no and stay away from the car. Yeah, and tell your parents or a teacher about it. Very good. You both get a point for that. Sure, give them all the points. Okay, here's our last question. What should you do if a stranger offers you gifts, candy, or money? Easy, take the money! <laughs> ah, not again! I'm afraid so, Beastly. Tugs? You should never take anything from a stranger. Yeah, and you should tell your parents about it, too. That's right. Never take anything from a stranger unless you ask your parents first. Boy, you two sure know your safety rules. End of round two. All right, panel. Are you ready for the final safety challenge? What have I got to lose? Tell them how it works, Braveheart. Right you are, Grumpy. It's the fabulous staircase challenge. At the top of each staircase is a bookcase. Our contestants must safely climb the stairs, get a book, and bring it back down. Now remember, contestants, we'll be judging you on safety. Are you all ready? Yep. OK, go. <laughs> No, I won. All right, Braveheart, how did they do? Right you are, Grumpy. Hugs and Tugs each get a point for walking, not running. And one point for holding on to the railing. One point for not taking more books than they could safely carry. And two more points for coming back down safely. Giving them a total of five points each. Get to the good part. What did I get? Mr. Beastly loses five points for running on the stairs. He loses five more for trying to carry way too much. Ten more for sliding down the banister. And five more for a bad landing. This gives him a total of nothing. Yeah, but how many points do I get for winning? Beastly, this wasn't a race. It was a safety challenge. What? You mean I nearly killed myself for nothing? What a dumb game! Hmm. Well, here it is, the big moment. Braveheart, what are the final scores? Right you are, Grumpy. Baby Tugs, 11 points. Baby Hugs, 10 points. And Mr. Beastly, 51,675. <gasps> Yahoo! I win! Oh, tell him what he's won, Braveheart. For our grand champion winner here on the fabulous Care Bear Safety Game, the all-new fluorescent orange safety vest featuring an exciting light-reflecting strip. That's it? The lousy vest? And that's not all. He also wins a new stop sign. Comes complete with metal handholds. What am I supposed to do with this? You'll be needing it, Beastly, when you step into your new job as Carolot Crossing Guard! Crossing Guard? 
Wait a minute. Congratulations, Beastly. No, you wait. See you tomorrow morning, Mr. Beastly. Yeah, and dress warm, because it's supposed to snow. Snow? <laughs> I don't want to be a crossing guard.